Here we have a Shelbourne XCV42 stripper header. There are three models in the Shelbourne XCV range, the XCV32, 36 and 42. As you can see here, we have a variable speed belt drive system. The operator changes the speed of the rotor using a combined cab mounted monitor. The rear pulley is controlled by an electric actuator and the front pulley incorporates a powerful spring and positorque system to help maintain belt tension and performance when the going gets tough. The drive belt idler pulley has been removed and the gearbox now pivots. This means fewer moving parts and it allows the belt to wrap around the pulleys more which increases the drive's performance. The operator can alter the stripping rotor speed for changing crop conditions throughout the day. The Shelbourne XCV stripper headers have a spring-loaded gauge wheel system. This enables the wider headers to uh, consistently follow the ground contours. Effectively, we have a gauge wheel where you can pull a pin out and lock it in at different heights. Also, you can lock the wheel up for transportation to keep it up out of the way. The gauge wheel also pivots, which then reduces drag when turning in the field. The gauge wheel system is used in conjunction with the skids under the header. All XCV models have four skids. The skids are the ultimate control when keeping the rotor out of the ground. The gauge wheels also help to control the lateral pivot by working in conjunction with the spring-loaded lateral tilting centre-mounted adapter plate. The XCV top hood is raised using a hand, hydraulic hand pump that we've mounted onto the back of the header. We've also incorporated a safety stop where we'll just put that into position. Other new features include a brush seal system mounted onto the rear of the crop deflector. This seals the gap between the top hood and crop deflector, thus eliminating any potential for grain loss in that area. We've utilised a smaller tube on the auger. It's a two-piece auger with a centre division plate. Here we've gone with a smaller centre tube, but with a much deeper flighting. This therefore creates much more space around the auger, and therefore more capacity while harvesting in heavy crop conditions, or in lodged conditions when taking in more straw. All XCV machines are centre mounted on the combine. The centre mounting makes them ideal for controlled traffic applications. All XCV machines operate a lateral floating adapter plate which is spring loaded. The inner springs on the right hand side are used to bring the header level to compensate for the extra weight on the left hand drive end. And the outer springs on either side provide the suspension and travel to enable the head to move laterally and to come back to the centre level position once the undulating terrain has been passed. 
A locking pin enables the operator to lock the head level for transport purposes and when loading onto a trailer. The auger is a two-piece auger with a centre mounting plate incorporating the paddle system that we've previously proven on the CVS range. These paddles provide smooth even feed of the material into the combine which enables you to travel quickly in both lodged conditions when you're taking in straw but also equally feed in clean grain very effectively as well. The XCV42 uses three 14-foot rotors to complete the 42-foot total stripping width. This then uses two central division plates either side of the combine. All XCV models incorporate three smaller rotors for added strength and durability rather than two larger rotors. Stainless steel fingers are arranged in eight rows around the rotor. The rotor speeds can be varied between 450 and 750 RPM depending upon crop conditions. The crop deflector incorporates this central mounting bracket, basically to give extra rigidity to cover the 42 foot span of the machine. The arm here rotates up and down on a roller. This is all fixed to the top rear beam of the header mainframe. The XCV range represents more than 20 years of field development and improvement and is available to fit a wide range of modern combine harvesters.